Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of November and this is a general reading. Take what resonates, only what does in energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Aries, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended reading, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Uh, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, Aries, we'll see what is your energy, we'll see what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with or you will be dealing with. I'll also pull out some energy oracle cards and we'll see what are the messages from the higher power for you guys. Okay, so let's get started Aries. So what is your energy Aries? We have a fool. I'm going to place it here because I want to place the oracle cards above. So we have fool. Then we have temperance and three of pentacles for you energy of your person we have two of wands then nine of cups and we have the emperor wonderful so what are the messages from the higher powers aries what are the messages from the higher powers what are the messages from the higher powers aries what are the messages from the higher powers we have walking away we have do to spirit and we have thinking woman and one additional card is we have hostilities okay so aries you may be dealing with another aries a very strong presence of aries over here with fool and emperor you may be dealing with sagittarius you may be dealing with capricorn you may be dealing with pisces uh, cancer in some cases if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the signs so let me show you your cards so aries these are the cards okay all right <clears throat> so what is your energy i see that uh, there is a collaboration it can be work related collaboration it can be a collaboration or a partnership related to um anything else as well a romantic collaboration in some cases or maybe a union or there is a kind of a proposal uh, probably that has been kept in front of you like shall we uh, come together for some kind of a project shall we come together and start a business shall we come together uh, as a, as a form of reunion like probably uh, you may get an invite for a reunion uh, school reunion or something like that and you you probably are contemplating uh, about that collaboration about that partnership about that union reunion for some of you maybe your ex is trying to come back and they are asking for a reunion and I see that there is a collaboration uh, an offer may come your way for for collaboration and you your main focus is on stability Aries okay you want stability and you you will find yourself thinking a lot about this collaboration this partnership this union reunion okay and uh, whether whether this whether coming together whether forming a partnership whether getting into this collaboration is going to give you the stability that you're seeking this this can be emotional stability this can be financial stability this can be any other stability that you are looking 
for for some of you this is simply an offer from a company and you are thinking if i accept this offer whether this offer is going to fulfill my financial needs whether this offer is going to give you what i'm looking out for okay if the person uh, if someone is trying to uh, attach uh, someone is trying to be a part of your life romantically you will think whether getting into this connection whether getting into this relationship will give me what i want what i'm looking for is stability emotional stability uh, financial stability or I'm, i'm i'm looking for a stable relationship a romantic relationship with someone so is this situation going to give me the stability that i'm looking out for because your main aim what i see is is stability so some of you will find yourself contemplating that if me staying alone is going to make me more stable than collaborating with someone for the moment i'll stay alone rather than collaborating with the wrong people rather than collaborating with the wrong situations which is not going to give me the warranty that i'm looking out for i better stay single and wait for the right people for the right situation to uh enter in my life i better uh stay away from this collaboration work related or romantic collaboration and i i rather than getting into collaboration with uh with wrong set of people i i will wait for the right kind of people and then collaborate with them that's what i see over here okay so i see that an offer for collaboration partnership union reunion offer a romantic offer in some cases may come your way but your ultimate aim of stability uh, probably may not get fulfilled through this collaboration and i see that you're walking in a different direction okay you're walking away from that collaboration and you and it's not that if 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 this is a romantic situation it's not that you're not looking out for love of course you're looking out for love but you are an experienced person now you have experienced uh, what it uh, what happens when you collaborate with the wrong people what happens when you get into a romantic situation with the wrong person you totally have experienced that in the past and you don't want to repeat that right you don't want to repeat that what you want is is right things to happen in your life so it's okay to wait for the right person for the right situation than uh fearing uh, you staying single or than fearing your solitude and getting into a wrong situation so the bottom line over here is you're looking out for stability that stability may differ from person to person some of you are looking out for financial stability some of you are looking out for emotional stability some of you you have certain desires you have some some end goal at the back of your mind and before venturing into any situation you are going to verify whether this situation will help me propel towards the goal that i have at the back of my mind okay so you are making some calculated moves and which is absolutely right i i i, I really appreciate you for that okay uh I see for some of you especially if you are if you're planning for any kind of travel uh especially if you're trying to break away from routine you're going to you're going to make some new friends is what I'm getting you you are going to make some good friends you're going to make some new friends and uh this this friendship is going to stay lifelong is what i'm getting this friendship will will uh stay for eternity and it may be like you are becoming friends with someone who is way too younger than you or you are becoming friends who is way too elder than you or it can also be like you are becoming friends with your boss but there is there is some kind of a massive difference either age or either uh maybe designation wise there is a big difference or maybe uh, uh maybe there are some differences in ethnicities but there are some differences uh, fundamental differences between you and this person okay and uh, people people may be surprised when they will see you together like uh, uh people may be like wow 
you're friends with someone who is so younger or you're friends with someone who is so mature or you have you may end up becoming friends with with a person who is a celebrity or a person with a uh, who is a part of an elite group a millionaire or a billionaire and and whoever this person is they are very genuine and down to earth okay so and you are also looking out for true friends what i see is like you have had so many romantic relationships so far and somehow you are getting this feeling that i have not developed or created true friends in my life and i want to have true friends in my life there is there is one relationship that is you're craving more at the moment than love and i feel like you want friends in your life more okay at the moment it's uh, uh, again i'm repeating not the case that you don't want love of course you want love but you're ready to wait for the right kind of a person okay not that you're desperate for friendships but somehow there is this feeling like the friends that you have had in your life so far they were not your true friends it's time for you to find the right right kind of people in your life as far as uh, as far as uh, your person is concerned we have i just saw 11 11 by the way we have two of uh, wands we have nine of cups and we have emperor hmm. whoever this person is the most eligible bachelor and this person is being eyed by many this person uh for some of you i'm telling you like it you may become friends with this person first and then you may become friends then you may become romantic partners with this person somehow i see that a relationship with a boss is going to turn out to be different i don't know why i'm hearing this word again and again boss maybe a boss at the end of the day if you are your own boss uh, for you guys if you're running a business your customers are your boss right so uh so you need not necessarily be working in an organization you can also be a boss your own boss but if you're running a business then at the end of the day your customers are your boss right so uh, if that is the case then i see that for some of you you're going to find romantic relationship uh in one of your customers uh somehow i see that there is going to be a pre-existing relationship between you and this person and most likely it is going to be a work related relationship it's either going to be a uh, this is going to be a work colleague this is going to be a boss uh for some of you this is going to be a customer or consultant and advisor or something of that sort and what i see is uh this person is going to help you grow aries is what i'm getting with the nine of cups also they themselves are are a very uh, they are uh, an eligible bachelor and opposite sex is trying to woo this person uh, for their attention there are many people who are targeting this person actually as their future partner but this person they have been into relationships in the past and they know what they want and they are they have also reached a phase where they are ready to wait for what they truly want in their life okay they are looking out for someone uh, who is going to give them that stability and who is going to give them that true and unconditional love okay so this person is waiting they are ready to get into a connection but they are waiting for the right kind of a partner and you guys are going to meet very soon you guys are going to be one another's wish fulfillment aries now let's talk about the oracle cards walking away you are being advised to walk away from something i'm telling you you guys are walking away with the fool card itself i got that message you are walking away from something okay that is not fulfilling you and again the advice with the oracle card is to walk away from something that is not making you happy aries but the door to spirit is you may experience uh, spiritual awakening or you may experience that you're walking down a path of spiritual journey you're taking down the path of spiritual journey number 32 is of some importance to you guys okay thinking women yes 
make some calculated moves uh, like think before you make any kind of decision and try to take some unbiased perspective some of you if you're planning to go back to school and education this is the right time for you guys hostilities for some of you your friends are actually your frenemies is what i'm hearing and that is one of the reason you're looking out for uh, new relationships you want to develop new friendships uh, you have to be a bit careful regarding uh, how much trust you're putting in people around you okay do not uh, indulge into putting excessive trust in anyone okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person take care of yourself and have a great time ahead